Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy Usha, and of course, we are back again once again with another Power Rangers Dino Fury. Yeah, I know it doesn't really go like that, but that's what we're gonna be doing. Another review, episode seven. It's called Stego Search. So let's go and review this, and I'll give you guys my thoughts about this episode in about I don't know, a few minutes. <laughs> So this time around, it's probably going to sound like I'm going to speed run it, but I uh, think that by highlighting some of the events while not, you know, completely going over every bit of detail of the episode will definitely be easier to watch, more digestible, and uh, we'll get to how I felt about the episode overall sooner. So let's get right into this sweep of things. So the episode starts off with some sort of Zord finder in the base. They have a device now that can track down the other Zords, and of course, this is to complete back up the whole point behind the stego search title in the episode 7 and it does look like javi finally got his keytar was shortly after able to attract a crowd and funny enough the music did sound like some dr disrespect synth wavy kind of music i didn't really i mean it's obvious that he's not generating all of those sounds but I, either way this kind of sound cool quickly after this we have a velma and daphne combination i i definitely have to point that out because i'm like hold on i see purple i see orange this is clearly on some detective stuff right here so had to point that out jay borg also joins the music and uh that that was uh, i guess very interesting but then of course the park ranger aka ahavi and izzy's dad stops the music disturbing uh the birds because it's nesting season so you know he's a stickler and they actually already alluded to this in previous episode that uh the daddy is not so fond of his musical choices for some reason like i, I really don't like this guy he just kind of sucks he's a pretty crappy dad from what we've seen of him so far so yeah not 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 a fan of this character we also do learn that the keytar was actually 900 dollars and he took it away and he's like i want to get your money back or whatever like yeah thanks thanks dad boom tower then takes a sporix for himself to power himself up of course uh, Void and I had no idea about this and clearly at this point we already know that Javi was a little upset so Izzy does the the sister thing and tries to go to talk to Javi but upon talking or trying to talk to him Monster shows up and they have to go ahead and do the Power Ranger thing at this point and they get the morph of the episode with the sequence and all and it was just a brother and sister shared morph this time around unfortunately for them as nice as that morphing sequence was Boom Tower messes up Zato, Amelia, and Ali, which of course showed up to the scene, and then proceeds to mess up the other two. Izzy got hurt pretty bad and actually had to retreat with Javi. So Void Knight then shows up and he makes Boom Tower retreat. And for the first time ever, I think at this whole season so far, we have an unmorphed fight. A lot of people like myself will definitely agree when I say that unmorphed fights are probably some of the best original work that we can take take from power rangers and appreciate because you know it just clearly means like oh this is some stuff that we're doing stuff that we're responsible for we're not totally reliant on ryu soldier and it's is something to appreciate and to enjoy and i definitely wanted to point that out uh right in the middle of me reviewing this so shortly after this fight back to the base the rangers did find a viral video of javi playing the keytar and then actually getting it taken away imagine a, a, a video being viral for a dude playing a keytar and then actually getting it taken away from not just your dad but from a park ranger like that's kind of od ali then made a connection that the music is actually what gave the zord finder a signal to the stego zord in the first place because i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but yes they actually did get some kind of a signal at the same time as when javi was playing the keytar out in the crowd when he first uh, the episode like kind of started so to test this they actually have a javi play a flute which of course i was like oh like we haven't seen this before and what do you know it did trigger the signal again and they were able to pinpoint where the stegos order was located which javi was going to go and get it while the other rangers went into the city to fight boom tower for round number two so while the zord fight versus boom tower is going on javi does play the flute and he does find the stegosaurus literally digging itself up from beneath the ground and quickly 
Shortly thereafter, we do finally for the first time see the Dino Fury Megazord Spike Formation. The Rangers weren't really in sync this time around doing the Zord moves like they normally do. And this kind of brings me back to missing how Zords used to just have cockpits for the Rangers to sit in and actually have like controls, buttons, you know, levers and whatnot to actually control the Zord. When you see a empty room with just like a sword insert and then they just doing all the moves i mean i guess in concept it might look or seem cool but at the same time when you see things that are very messy and out of place looking and just kind of a throwaway thing like oh let's just do this instead it does kind of bring the value down and I, overall i'm just not a fan of it so boom tower does lose but he doesn't die he actually gets to retreat with the mucus monster so of course being that boom tower is obviously one of the withstanding generals to Void Knight, we're probably going to be seeing Boom Tower in plenty more episodes to follow. Also to note, Izzy was not a part of this fight. We actually do see her in a sling shortly thereafter. Well, like I said, she really did get messed up early on in the episode, so had to of course sell that by showing izzy off in a sling hopefully she does recover and we get to see her in action next week and then to top it all off the episode ends with uh, the ranger surprising javi with a brand new guitar and then playing music in their workspace for everyone to enjoy dance and to have jay borg dance so hard that she drilled herself into the ground and caused a water hole to just spurt out water and everyone's just like ha 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 so goofy so funny power rangers so yeah overall the episode wasn't terrible it wasn't like bad either i did have some things that i enjoyed out of it but it really did seem like javi's character wasn't explored as much as i would have liked to they kind of just made him seem like he's the kind of guy that keeps to himself when there is something that goes against him and i understand that having a, f a family figure being involved in the show as they are like directly can maybe he's just you know very respectful to his father but i don't know it just seemed like since he couldn't really open up to anyone not even his own sister i mean he was going to at at that one point overall it just didn't seem like him playing off as the quiet yet cool character he didn't really seem cool he really just seemed more quiet and a little on the random emotional side of things and i and, and that's the thing he wasn't even that emotional at the same time so i guess what i'm trying to say is very hard to put it into words exactly what to take away from javi his character again wasn't really fully explored and i just think that the fact that it was this many episodes since his debut with his sister he's finally getting a guitar he's finally getting some time to shine I don't really think they did it in the best way or they executed it in the best way. And I feel like overall, his character is kind of flat for those reasons. I do like his look. I like the way he's been fighting, the way he kind of works alongside his fellow teammates. But overall, I really do wish that if he was to be anything i really do wish that he had a little bit more personality and character overall much like his sister does and that's pretty much it for the dino fury episode 7 review also i just wanted to point out there that there's a lot of upcoming things going on with power ranger we actually just recently got news and the official confirmation of our gold ranger not sure if he's going to make the debut in the next episode before the mid season finale happens but i do think that with them teasing or not not even teasing but just literally showing off the actor in an official reveal during the hasbro pulse fan fest that he should be debuting pretty soon and they also wanted to know that they also said that this is the full cast this is the full roster and uh that that does to me sound like there definitely won't be any new original created rangers and there won't be a seventh and eighth and ninth i mean they didn't have any in Rio soldier actually they they kind of did but that's neither here nor there i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see as to when the gold ranger will make his debut also it seems like power rangers battle for the grid is finally going to be getting some kind of announcement of an announcement or an update or something if you want to know more about that head over to my video game channel where i actually have been covering 
all the news in relation to Battle for the Grid and other video game related news bits. So if you're into that and you're into Power Rangers at the same time, obviously give me a subscribe and a like on all of those videos as well. And definitely check out more when that does happen. And with that, I'm looking forward to episode eight. Let's hope that they end it with a bang if that is the last episode. If not, well, we'll guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are gonna be in the description as always, guys. Please get take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time.